But first, to the worrying rise of a dangerous drug that's ruining lives and wrecking communities. It's called monkey dust, and it's being linked to violence and unpredictable behaviour, piling pressure on emergency services. The government is currently reviewing its Class B classification. But in Stoke-on-Trent, the country's so-called monkey dust capital, the situation is already critical. Our social affairs correspondent, Stacey Foster, reports on the distressing effects of this desperate epidemic. They are some of the most vulnerable people living on the streets of Stoke-on-Trent. What brings them together is drugs and increasingly monkey dust. Cheaper than alcohol at as little as £2 a hit, its effects differ from user to user and it's not entirely clear why it's become so popular here. Simon used to be a plumber. Now he spends his time on the streets smoking dust. How are you? I asked him why he takes it. It's the high. It's like nothing you could ever. I was arrested at a very young age and I was incarcerated in Stoke Heath when it was a youth custody centre back in the This stuff helped you to forget all that? It just makes me realise just how I can rectify the situation. But the wouldn't police, it be better to be still working as a plumber? And it will be when I get my job back. I'm going to work. I need housing, I need income. For the first time, dust confiscated by police officers is being tested at Staffordshire University. So you can see. There, little bag, but there's quite a large amount of powder there. Um, and when you compare that to some of the others, uh, you can see the sort of variation that we've got um, in colour in some of those. Obviously, this one here, a bit more of a brown colour compared to the sort of more yellow um, of that one. So that'll be really interesting to see what is inside those samples. ITV News was given exclusive access to the lab where samples will be deconstructed <laughs> to establish why this city has an issue with monkey dust. Monkey dust is a synthetic cathinone uh, referred to as MDPHP. Primarily we are looking to identify what the main constituent is and that will just really help to um, identify whether or not it is MDPHP that they're taking when they refer to the term monkey dust or has that term now become more of a colloquial term for one, any one of these synthetic cathinones. <gasps> Videos like this of alleged monkey dust users becoming violent have circulated since 2014 and have prompted the government to review its status as a Class B drug. Sarah Page has co-authored a report looking at user experience. We had 13 people who had used monkey dust. Which will inform the Home Office's decision. And then we found from people with lived experience that they didn't resonate with that kind of media image that has been out there around monkey dust. Because of the government cutbacks on services, the police are very much working as, as the arm of a, a maybe a social worker or a drugs worker in some cases. The ultimate aim is to take monkey dust off the streets. There's no denying that it's taking up a lot of police resources. And there's a thought that making it a class A drug could help. We'll get 300, 350 calls um, per month in relation to monkey dust. One of our key um, ambitions is, is to pursue those that are, that are selling monkey dust on the street, those that are profiteering from those vulnerable individuals. And if we increase the classification, then it gives the courts greater sentencing power for those individuals that are supplying monkey dust and the misery that it brings onto the streets of Staffordshire. And it's those stories told at the side of the road that show how desperate the situation is. Emily has been living here for five weeks. She's lost her mum, her job, and has just had a miscarriage. She uses monkey dust and heroin. I'm mentally as a do, yeah. But physically, no, not like I'm heroin. How easy is it to get hold of in Stoke-on-Trent? I could walk up or down the street right now and get you five different pieces. People that would give me some for you. You getting help? Um, I ain't ha help in housing, um, but I'm, I'm going to be quite brutal and so they have just lost twins. It's just a miscarriage of twins. I, I don't want to get off the drugs right now. 
Stoke-on-Trent has been awarded £5.3 million to help support drug users in the city. But at the moment, for many, it's easier to get a cheap hit than it is to get help. Stacey Foster, ITV News, Stoke-on-Trent.